Greetings, adventurers, and how's everybody doing? I am the friendly neighborhood dungeon master, otherwise known as the Effin DM, and this is Cold Hard Witch, the lawful stupid RPG playthrough of the D&D module of Rhyme of the Frost Maiden. So, let's go ahead and get into the cast of characters for tonight's soiree. We have none other than Buddy, who plays Xander, our wizard. There is Chael, who plays Delphina, the clerically speaking Asimar. And then, of course, there's Madeline, who plays our lady who's barred to forget, Zolvana. Then, of course, there's the Professor, played by Nathan, who is got it on Warlock. And then Rodney, who plays Flynn, the dwarf flinging fighter. And now, back in her own body and sick of my shit, is <laughs> Amy playing Fariel, the Draug. So, uh, hey, party members. How are we doing tonight? Everybody good? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, players all, please gather around the campfire. When we last left the Harbingers. They had been teleported from the Cave of the Berserkers to, to the care, to the care at keep, to the care at Care Dinaval, which is of course the keep or the castle at Care Dinaval, which is currently under the new management, let's say, of a group known as the Brotherhood of the Black Swords. So this group is currently in control, and they had met the rather charming, prosperous leader of the group, known as Kadroth, who revealed himself to be a uh, uh, tiefling of certain persuasion. And then, uh, uh, <laughs> as the party uh, harassed his, his dutiful servant, Thub, uh, throughout the... Uh, Noob? Was that his name? Noob? Thub. Yep. Thub. Do doob. Thub. Doob. Poop. Was that his name? Boob spelled boob? backwards. How dare you? Shot. It was boob, right? It boob? was boob. Boob. Did he ever bring us yes. any coffee? He was going to bring us some coffee. We are two minutes into the actual stream. All right. So. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so summoned to the care uh, by the invitation extended to Zolvana, the bard, for reasons not yet revealed to the party. Yeah. For the night, they are beaten, battered, and in need of much rest. And so Cadroth had offered them a stay for the evening and then perhaps uh, uh, an offer to of, of employment should they be willing to take him up on it. We'll see what sort of shenanigans the party gets up to. Uh, hopefully they'll be a little more careful in the coming night. Air. Oh, uh, no. Uh, now we're not. Uh, <laughs> so we go uh, to the exact moment at the end of last game where Cadroth offered all of you a place to stay for the evening. He says, please, please follow through there. He will show you to your uh, accommodations for the evening. And I do hope we get to talk in the morning. And on that note, uh, you are all, so Thub will go ahead and head out of this sort of, uh, um, the, the speaker's guest room, uh, which is sort of the antechamber before getting into the speaker's room and come back into the main hall. Do you all follow? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Reluctantly. Look, look, at the very least, you all need to know where you're sleeping for the night. So that way, when you're not there, you know how to get back to there. <laughs> well, I was kind of hoping we could sleep in East Haven. Is that not an option? Oh, no, no it it, um, it burned down shortly after you left because... Oh, thank goodness. No, <laughs> that's home. We got, guys, we got to turn around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. All right, so uh, do you so do you follow Thub? Yeah, lovely. So Thub is going to go ahead and uh, take you back out uh, into the main hall. You'll notice that uh, Mayor is still there cleaning up uh, as you go ahead and enter in the hall. Everyone, make a perception roll. Uh, let's. Um. That's going to be a nat one for me, so I'm not even going to add my bonuses. <laughs> oh, good oh, lord. Oh, I got a two, Ooh. so that's much better. I oh got a God. 16. I got a, I got a six. Do I have the bet? <laughs> what? what? Well, I'm sorry, did I hear a I think nine? It has, I think you do. I has, I I has a 20. Oh, I thank God. A 20. 
Sweet nod, y'all. <laughs> I got a five. See, this We're is why. This is why so I would do a stream of mine that I always throw out a couple of like rando rolls just to sort of get the gears going a little bit. It's, it's yeah. Like, Ryan, what did the, you say that girl's name was again? Mare. 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 Okay. M E R E. Mare. Mare. Um, so, um, you notice, uh, see, I think I saw Flynn rolled at least a 16, correct? And then anyone, so 16 and up. I rolled uh, a 20. Yeah, I heard that. Good on you, Madeline. Um, so you notice that there is actually a giant uh, crossbar that can be slid across the main doors to seal it and sort of bar it against entry. Uh, it is currently slid back out of position. You also notice that at the top of the main staircase, so if you're looking at the map, I'll ping it here. At the top of this main staircase here, you see a, a, a giant banner, sort of tapestry that just hangs on the wall, it uh, seemed better days, but sure enough, it's a stone watchtower on a dark blue field with a horizontal red fish to the right, just underneath the tower. Uh, those of you who have been in 10 towns long enough know that this is indeed the sigil or banner of Kier de Naval. All right, so even though they have taken residence inside the care, the trappings of the speaker are still to be seen. All right. So as you come out from the main hall, you get yourselves back out into the courtyard. And then he starts to go ahead and head to the northeast uh, to the tower that way. Is that uh -huh. door the only entry? Uh, into, into, in, into the hall itself? Yeah. Yes, that you can tell, like on this level, like the only way in and out of the Great Hall is are, are those double doors right there. Okay, and those two little white squares are those windows. Those are actually doors to uh, doors that lead other off the side. places. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> that, doors that lead elsewhere. elsewhere. <laughs> gotcha. Right mm hmm. Yes, doors. Do I'm talking doors on doors on doors. All right. So uh, as you, again, pass by uh, this location on the map, you hear the unmistakable sound of like snarling and a little bit of like yipping, uh, some barking. And so like those of you, you've been around, uh, you've been around 10 towns long enough, you know, that's probably where they have uh, sled dogs stored or transportations and the like through there. And then uh, Thube goes ahead and opens the door and says, your accommodations, as he opens it up, which I will reveal. All right. So you see very similar to sort of the 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 chamber that you arrived in, uh, you know, minus a giant magic portal in the middle of the room, that this is set up to be sort of a living area. Um, in the middle of the room, there is a brazier, a brazier uh, that provides heat throughout the room with the little bellows that can be pumped. Uh, there are enough cots uh, in the room for you, uh, for each of you to have a place to stay, uh, though it looks like currently the, the three cultists who are in this room are in the process of uh, cleaning out their things. So... They, they may or may not be. Um, so we we we've, we've displaced someone from their room. This should I go mean, well for us. Y'all don't gotta y'all don't gotta go nowhere. We can have a big old sleepover. Just get a you know get the campfire out. We get some marshmallows. Some stories. <laughs> no, please More leave. Some stories. Yeah. Come on, yeah. come on, stay for the night. No, nope. so get like, out. <laughs> and so as as Thube enters the room, he invites you all to sort of like say your accommodations, and he sort of very quickly like snaps his fingers uh, at the uh, at the cultists who are still left in the room and at that they uh they quickly then vacate they head up the stairs and uh, out across the tower so and for the first time since arriving if everyone gets into the room so I put yourself Delphina you still hanging back with Cadroth Yes. <laughs> She's like, so tell me about. <laughs> like, I claim my bed. All right. All right. So, yeah, everyone. <clears throat> so, uh, assuming Ch that Chael has made her way into the room. Yes. Okay. Weird. I mean, you know, I mean, hey, if, you, if you're just like role playing, you're like, you, you, you want to take on this guy right here, right now, do it. Not mm -hmm. even about it. Um, 
Thub will say, ah. "She seems so sweet. What happened?" <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you shotgun one guy out of waist shoot, and suddenly people change. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping that that can be one of our new. These mo's is just shotgunning people out of a. Oh yeah, I know we are on the, we are on the lookout for more for I'm more trash shoots. Oh yeah, I want this. I want this to be a, the just the, the the journey we go on. Mm-hmm. If you um, want to fight me, trash. meet me at this ice hole. <laughs> yeah. <hours. laughs> Perfect. Build me a shoot. All right. Um. So Thube is going to uh, as as soon as he clocks that everyone is in the room. He's like, ah, oh, you are of course. Welcome. Uh, anywhere in the care, uh, all rooms which are not available to you will be locked, however, and well guarded. And we will, uh, you will have another audience with Kadroth in the morning. Any questions? Uh, the the coffee that was coming, are you just going to have that redirected here? And maybe some tea too would be really, really great. Or do y'all have like a common kitchen area where we have to go like make our own meals? Cause that'd be cool too. Like we'd have to go in like a. I will. I'm. I will okay, fetch you. The, okay. The coffee and the. If you please, I will fetch you the coffee and the tea and see if there's anything left in the kitchen. Can it be lavender, please? I, I really like lavender tea, which is. We don't have lavender tea. tea. Anything else? Hey, Thu. Thanks. Yeah, you seem to be kind of stressed, buddy. You doing okay? I could heal you. She's really good at it. Oh, thank you. If you please. And then he turns and leaves. (laughs) 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 Does he does he close the door when he leaves? He does. He does. Yeah, we're gonna have to kill that much. Rather like a little too like like maybe on the other side of the door, he like closes it and then like he's gonna like Presses his face and hands up against the door a little bit. Like, Dear, yeah, we got we got had to kill that motherfucker. No, 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 no. It's a mercy. Yeah. It's, a mer- it's a mercy killing. It's a mercy yeah. killing. He's just stressed. It made me. There's, there's look, a lot of us. Look, we've all worked for those bosses. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. I think. And for the not- first time, you find yourselves alone at the keep. <sighs> I sure wish I had magic to see if that were true, but I don't. <laughs> but I'm too damn tired to suss that out. Uh, no, oh, no, I'm more I, of a fighter you, than, than uh, anything. <laughs> I just like take off my 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 uh, my overcoat and like fling the dust off of it to see if like anyone's around us. <laughs> I like it. I like it. See you it, for now. Anybody in there with us? Roll for perception. Oh, okay. Well, I rolled a one a minute ago. I hope. I <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say roll the <laughs> center. <laughs> um, it can't get worse. I mean, it's, she's not wrong. Nope. A uh, twenty-one. Oh, better than mine. Okay. Yeah, with a twenty, with a twenty-one, you you believe that there is nobody else in the room except the the seven of you. We could just like walk around like this, you know, the whole room. Oh, I mean, six of you. I'm about to say seven. Like, uh, <laughs> I mean, I will say that I had meant like <laughs> invisible scrying sensors or something, but you know, that, that's, this is fun too. Um, I say, did you want to do it like an arcana check to see? No, if there's any no, sort no, of- no. I, I don't have, I don't have the kind of magic that can, that can check for that, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, so uh, he wants to hire us and I know that we like to be hired, but this seems a little bit sketch. I mean, yes. yeah. right place, right time. Mm-hmm. And, Zalvana, he seems to have a special connection to you. Uh, yes, are you yeah, okay? What can you tell us? Are you in is trouble your, here? Is he your friend? Do we need to kill him? Friend, no. Killing, I wouldn't put it off the table quite yet. So what had happened was, is that I wrote a uh, an expose, if you will, called the Hellboy Help bent highborns you know words um and it kind of um it accused a bunch of kind of prominent like people at um you know 
Mother bought 13 that, copies. That they were like devil worshipers. And so, you know. Now, is he, is he the worshiper or the one being worshipped? Um, no, I, I accuse them of being devil worshippers. Oh, okay. I mean, to be fair, the the masks and the, the the symbols on the floor and all that don't help their case at all. Yeah. Um. Ariel, roll a perception check. Terrible. That's a three plus four. Sweet, good goal. <laughs> <laughs> You're the, you're the rogue. All right. I so, know. Um, My passive as, perception's 14. Oh, well, good. That We'll, we'll take that one then. Uh, so with the, with the 14, you hear uh, footsteps at the top of the stairs descending into the chamber. Uh, and then, short. Uh, so anything you want to warn your compatriot about there? I, I had footsteps. And then shortly after that, a cultist comes down and is carrying a tray, which appears to have uh, at least uh, four coffees and uh, two teas. And uh, there also seems to be like a, a, a couple of bowls, or actually, I should say a few bowls with uh, with some broth in it, like a soup. So, uh, hi, I was, uh, I was told to deliver this to the Harbingers. It's us. Yep. Oh, yes. That's us, right? Is that her name? Is that the way to the kitchen? <laughs> it's the kitchen up upstairs. No, no, I, um, I, they told me, and then I ran, and technically the kitchen's actually on the first floor. I don't know why I came down the stairs. It was dumb. To confuse us. Well, it's all right. exercise. So we don't know where to go. It's all right. So what is upstairs? The tower. What's in the tower? my post mm. oh okay is it like a fence post right. <laughs> what is that where you keep your horse N no why would you keep you a have horse horses <laughs> no my no i'm I, I i my job is to be guarding the top of the tower it's my oh. job like, oh. right right right, right. Mm -hmm. like a, that post yeah uh, like a but if you're I, supposed to be guarding the tower but you're not because you're here we, Who's going to the tower? Well, there's 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 three of us. In, oh, you have shifts. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah. We kind of like well, we would normally you sleep in the lower level and then the shift up and then. Sh but we don't because you guys are here. Oh, you, does that mean oh, we need to take shifts up top for you? If well, you no, no. we're pretty good at yeah, that. Yeah, we could help. Are you sure? If one of y'all want to come down here and nap for a minute, like, well, I I I, I hardly sleep I'll share anyway. My bed. Um, I grew. Oh. I'm I really certain sure, she's from the celestial realm and it's wild there. Yeah. <laughs> no. Feathers. Feathers. <laughs> All the feathers. Uh, no, I just meant if I'm on the shift, then you can sleep in my bed. Mm. Oh, right. Right. Yeah, right. that's what she meant. I'm just going to leave this here. Wanna, do you want, do you want, he, sets do you the, he sets the tray on the uh, on the footlocker that's right in front of Xander's bed, and then just kind of slowly. So are none of you sleeping tonight? Up. I'm sorry, what? Are none of you sleeping tonight? Oh no, we uh, we moved our cots upstairs, so we'll just sleep in the tower. Right. That sounds uncomfortable. Yeah. Have Ooh. you already done your shift, or is your shift later? Um. Uh, we we rotate, so it depends on the night. And rest assured, we are. We are we are safe and guarded in in our faith. So I thank you. Wait, the faith guards you, or your weapons guard us? Well, Does in a very weapons? literal sense, the weapons. But oh, a, just making sure you have some, and you weren't just. I was going to say because I knew a girl named Faith, and she oh she had a right hook on her. <laughs> Did you make her mad? No, 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 no. I just fought next to her. The, oh. the things she could do barehanded on the battlefield were wild. Oh wow! Is she a monk? She must have been really strong. No, Imagine no, that was the wild part about it. That, that was that was a wild part. She wasn't a monk. She was supposed to supposed to go in with with the two handed sword and just dropped it in the beginning, and we just hit guys as hard as she could. Yeah, that's somebody you should stay away from. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, yeah. thanks for the the coffee and the tea. Uh, we all sleep naked, so just be careful when you're coming down. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Can I go with you? She's new. No, no, I, I, no, I'm, I, I'm, I'm going to look back at her and, and just and kind of nod that off. 
<laughs> just, just, <laughs> just, just not because we're indecent. What, what played out there was him just sort of like turning, kind of turn it, walking up the steps. <laughs> that whole like faith, he tried to ghost so hard. <laughs> like, excuse me, excuse yeah. me, lad. Excuse, excuse me, lad. Yes. Uh, well, I'm sorry. What, what was your name, son? Oh, he's already gone. He's, no, he's like, no, 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 no. I come back. <laughs> you kind of you kind of hear like the, like right right about when xander was like oh we sleep naked by the way like he like du- he, like his his his, his, his was definitely like doubled like and then you kind of hear the like the of like the latch kind of dropping yeah as the, he was leaving i wanted to listen to see if off. he locked a door up there roll a perception check don't sleep 14 no, i don't 14 oh, oh yeah I was, so the 14. I, no, no, I just said that this, that way that, hopefully so he will knock before they come in you hear the just latch in case drop. we're talking about some shit and then you do hear like a a, a latch kind of going across the way so okay um let's see <laughs> I forgot how fun you guys are in just like a group setting of like, <laughs> let's, just, let's, just, let's just see what kind of random nonsense comes out of your mouth. Like, yes. I mean, this you gotta be why. good at something. We're good at rolling ones and then just messing with your NPC. So. Rolling ones, burning spell slots and running your mouth. <laughs> it's a skill. Somebody's um, gotta do it. So, gotta. so, uh, the long, and the, the long and the short of it is, is, you wrote a book and people are mad, and this guy is not part of that, but you also don't trust him. I don't trust him because he won't tell me who the boss is, the the big deal in the right cities. Do you guys remember him saying that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't yeah. know what that means, and if he's not being forthcoming, then that means that he's, you know, hiding something. But I also wonder, you said you wrote about them being devil worshippers did you yeah. have is that is that factual do you have sources for that are those people around like what what's going on so it was um in Baldur's gate some no, um prominent patriarchs in Baldur's gate and nobles in waters deep and yes they were founded well founded but like i kind of got chased out mm. and that's why you found me in icewind dale so you were hot on the trail of something exactly so, uh, I mean, it, it, has, has, has the lid just exploded on that? Because that's, I know it's relatively close if you consider Faerun, but that's still a long way from here. How would someone here know, like, everything about that? And and he knew things about us. He knew that that I wasn't just an elf, and, and he knew that, that Flynn wasn't just a, a human fighter, that, that he's something more... This guy, how the hell does he know all this? Yeah, he must have been watching us for a while. Uh, That's I don't like creepy. That. Yeah. Okay, well, as someone who works on coin, we haven't been the most subtle. And so if someone were tracking us, we've made a lot, a, a lot, a lot of noise to, to be noticed. Correct. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, that's true, but normally the noises with our, our weapons, we're not... No, talking no, we, in, we're not getting drunk and talking in bars and stuff. We were ground zero for two for two for two speakers that. attacks. Yeah, okay, that's fair. During a festival. Uh, it's more of a wrong place, the wrong time situation, though, you think? It is a I bad mean, look though from the outside. It is. I agree. Well, I've I've been meaning to, to ask you. Uh, I've never gotten to before. We've been so busy with with those things attacking us. And so who are you? You know, that's a good question. Oh. The better oh. one I have is where is Herrick? Where's our friend Herrick? That's yeah. who we were trying to get when, when we grabbed you and, and pulled you through. Did you see and him? He's a dwarf. Is he is- okay? I, I didn't, I didn't see anyone. I, I was home. I was having a coffee with my mother. I, I, I felt something strange. Um, my mother felt it too. She got upset. She called for my grandmother. And then all of a sudden, I just sort of was, I felt something just sort of yank the edge of my collar and just pull. Um, I did. I did brush against something. 
on the way through the portal, so maybe that was your friend? So maybe Herrick is making lunch for your grandmother and your mom right now. <laughs> that would be Probably adorable. with tomatoes. He did <laughs> love tomatoes. And sausages. And sausage, yeah. And sausages, yeah. It, if, if he's there, don't worry at all about your mother and grandmother. They'll be in good hands. Um, you, on the oh, other hand, no. worry, <laughs> worry about you with, with us. We, we sometimes... Trouble You're not finds in us. I worry about anyone left alone with my grandmother. <laughs> Also, I was asleep when you showed up, and I just handed you a shield. Um, so, hi. Uh, welcome <laughs> to the group. Um, it's chaos here. I've, I've noticed it was... but That might not be the word I use, just bit busy. That's a nice, uh, that's a nice that's word. That's, that's, a, nice, nice way very that's nice. a really nice word. Polite way to put it, yes. Mm -hmm. So, what what do you do? What I mean, my mother wanted me to come and find Zelvana anyway, so that I could... I'm, I'm a new cleric. So I've never done any of this before. So she wanted me to to go with Zelvana and learn. Well, if there ever was a fast track to learn how to be a cleric, this yeah. is probably the right place to be. Yeah, you uh, you ain't you ain't joking. Uh, so so did you two know each other growing up? She she was friends with my mother, and I met her I met her that way. Yeah, her mother's an awesome lady. Is your mom she, a cleric uh, as well? Yes. She As for what my grandmother is too. They they learned. What do you do? You have a specialization. Do you do you like to heal? Do you? Yes, I. Mean, I do. I'm I I'm not the best in fighting. I I don't like to hurt anyone or or anything. Mm, I, I, I good. You'll not, fit right in. You're not gonna <laughs> like it here. Um, we thrive. She might not like you. People. Oh, these people are animals <laughs> my, my says the crazy Zelda. one uh, what do you mean at, at that at that i'm gonna try to shift the conversation professor did you did you happen to notice any any uh frost maiden accoutrements on on any of the the the, the guards the, the people praying or anything or are, are we dealing with more um servants and, and devotees to Oriel? uh i have not seen anything that would indicate that at this moment but i they, they wear it pretty prominently uh dm have we noticed anything that they're wearing that would be like a, a symbol or something in like the pattern of their robes that might key us into oh that's not a real that's xyz Ooh, uh... did they leave anything in the foot lockers here can we go through anything they might have left you absolutely can Go ahead and roll an investigation check for the lockers. Yeah. And then, uh, Xander, roll me a, I mean, I hate to say it, perception check to see uh, what you recall. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, about the... uh, roll a two for a total of nine. Roll a two for a total of nine. Okay, so within the lockers themselves, uh, you find some cold weather gear. Okay. Um, 14 for me on the perception a 14 for you on the perception. So uh, there is, you remember specifically on Cadroth, but then you also kind of remember, recall it from the other uh, cultists that you've seen sort of walking around. Uh, they all um, have this uh, a necklace that they are wearing, which appears to I swear to, to God, I thought you were going to pull one up. It looks a lot like <laughs> this one. They all have a necklace. <laughs> um it's triangular in shape and appears to have like a sword piercing down through the triangle. Does the that, triangle itself th is blue. Th does that ring a, a, a bell? Can I roll like a, a religion check or a history check? Yeah, give me a, a religion or history check. Can I uh, get in on that if he describes it to me? Uh, sure. I mean, if I can roll a history, I'd love to do that. Well, let's say by all means. Okay. Uh, roll, roll you a history. Yeah, so I'll, I'll roll one, you roll one. Okay. Professor. Um, 23. Early average. Yeah, 15. 23, 23 15. Okay, yeah. okay, nice. Um, so 
It is the symbol of the Knights of the Black Sword. Uh, they're a secret society of cultists uh, dedicated to uh, one of the archdevils. Um, trying to you say uh, with, uh, it, 23. with a what? With a 23. a 23. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Um, uh, it is the so it, it is the archdevil who rules the fifth uh, level of uh, of the nine hells. Do we have a name um, on him? Uh, his name is Levistus. Most of the cultists uh, are just like the, so they all seem to have the look of like Icewind Dale people, uh, like just you know your, your typical. Um, Folk of the realms, though that you have noticed that there is uh, a number of tieflings among the among their ranks as well. Uh, in the same way that the North seems to draw in all of the outcasts or people who are seeking to sort of isolate themselves from certain societies, uh, these uh, this cult also has seemed to draw them in. So these Knights of the Black Sword are um, are uh, are looking to gather up a following here. Uh, and it appears that they have made stake their claim at Cairdin of All. So I will I will share all of that with the uh, with the party, and I will I'll bring my voice down just a little bit, just to just in case there are prying ears at the doors. I'll bring it down as though an angel were sleeping on my vocal cords, kind of like you're talking, DM. <laughs> is it still too quiet well no it was great and then you got into explanation and you're like and just like the i was i was trying you to you went into asmr mode yeah, yeah. sorry I was, I, was <laughs> trying to, I was trying to like branch out the stream a little bit and now we're going to go ahead oh my gosh just talk just like that stay that close to your microphone and talk <laughs> uh but I, I will share that info with with everyone uh, if if they are all worshiping devils of the nine hells, uh -oh. I don't know that. I don't know that I'm that I'm in for this. We already have one group of cultists that we hate and that probably hate us. I don't know that we need a second group or to join a group. Great. Uh, <laughs> wow. I don't know how much choice. This uh, this man is willing to give us. It seemed we're uh, we're in a fortified building, and uh, while they're being offering us hospitality, they have not like given us the option to leave. I I wouldn't exactly call it even hospitality. We had to beg for the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's not she's not wrong. Um. I mean, if nothing else, like locked us in a room. If nothing else, we. Could. I don't think we're locked in. He did say that we have. We're Truth. free to go anywhere in the care, except for everywhere is locked. But speaking of, I was thinking about taking a little um, jaunt around carefully. Do you need help? I I could go with you. Uh, I care to take a look around as well. Hmm. Uh, how how good are you at being quiet, Delphi? Um, I'm I'm pretty good at it. I don't have died. <laughs> I was gonna say, <laughs> was really? Like, I'm a class of eighteen. Really? <laughs> I think you're probably pretty yeah, quiet. Just kidding. Just <laughs> kidding. That's a disadvantage on stealth. Yeah, yeah. Actually, you done. You're, you're pretty clanky, you Dick Van Dyke. <laughs> just. <laughs> <laughs> um. It's, I think we might be better served with you staying here. <laughs> Though I appreciate your enthusiasm. Oh, okay. Um, I, I can do something to help. Um, and that would be? Well, I, I, I don't know. If you have something you want me to do? Um, how are you feeling after all the fighting? I, I'm, I'm pretty tired and I, I could use... Uh, Great. What, the breath. best thing you can do for us is to take a nap so that you're well rested for tomorrow. That would be super helpful because we want you to be ready to go in fighting shape tomorrow. Oh. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I it's can... okay. 
if, Man, uh, I, if, I'm, I'm going to take as, a long rest too, Delphi. It's, as as okay. this conversation is going on, Flynn is taking off his chainmail shirt because it gives him disadvantage on self checks. <laughs> 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 Um, like I like Flynn is gonna uh, look like um, end of the day festival. Just like the pants, <laughs> the belt with all the the gear yes. on it, but but like but no shirt. Yeah, it's funny because <laughs> I know like, exactly that look. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, like, that you of sweat that's just sort of like hanging down from your neck. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly. Uh, um, so if Feriel is gonna go out yeah. scoping, I'm gonna stay in and I'm gonna get my guys. Rest. Are we gonna split the party? We are. Well, I'm gonna stay in and get my rest <laughs> because then when she comes back, I can sit up watch while she gets rest. Yes. So, oh, uh, mm-hmm. party Since members. She and I are only four hours. So yeah, remember, uh, you, in order to get the effects of your full long rest, uh, now I believe uh, Xander and Feriel, you get the bonus of saying only needing four hours. Everybody else, you need to be at, sleep for at least six of the of the eight hours uh, outside of the professor who doesn't sleep and the freak that in worries no way me perform <laughs> affects his sanity. <laughs> All right, I like to think that just as the day goes on, his eyes get more and more bloodshot, and then at dawn they just turn back to normal. Yeah, yeah that's right. how you tell how tired he is. <laughs> when he looks like he's totally normal, something's wrong. <laughs> yeah. Bender, you're stone cold sober. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, friends. I'm going to take a yeah. long rest. So I would like to uh, take a walk as well, Ferio, yeah. if yeah, you I'm, are. I'm going out. with yeah. you. Yeah. Okay, so leaving the room is Flynn, Ferio, and the professor. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is a bad joke. <laughs> um, we were given permission. We're not doing anything shady. That's true. That's a true. rogue, a fighter, and a warlock walk out of a room. All right. So, DM, <laughs> when, when when the door opens and and they are in this area here, is yes. that open to sky? Yes. So yeah. So this so this entire area here that is just uh, in front of the 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 actual keep or the castle itself is a courtyard so you are open to the the air you can see the lights and the tap like you can see the four towers around you and the walls that sort of in encase the the courtyard as well and then uh then this right here is the sort of the gatehouse or the the, the main with a, with a portcullis uh, that leads out uh, down to the village of Cairdinaval so yeah do, do I get the feeling like based on how many guards we saw stationed coming in when they go out, could I send Tempest just to kind of keep a an eye on them and the goings on and kind of keep just a wide pattern and have and not spook the guards into shooting at her? I I mean, it's so because Tempest is uh, sort of an, an animal that is native to the area. Um, if, and it's you, almost always night here. So yeah. an owl hunting, I think, wouldn't be. Isn't, boom, clap. Um, I think you could. I mean, do you, so do you want her to sort of be like circling the air like or well, like is she going to be well, perched on the tower like where do you want her xander well, you know well you know what i really want is to say thank you to the gilded troll who yeah just gave us welcome, a raid. welcome. Burr, thank burr, you burr, so burr, much burr, burr, burr. Burr. um i i'd like her to to kind of do long path patrolling okay but i would right. love it if she could keep an eye on the party and Ooh. if they get, okay. you know, just kind of a, at least like a, like a side eye on them. And if they get into trouble, come back into range and alert me so that I could get Zalvana and Delphi up and we could go. So provided that, them. so the provided that the party stays like outside in the courtyard, uh, I think Tempest would have a pretty good time of keeping track of them. Once they move, if they move into the keep itself, it's going to be harder for her to track kind of if they're moving between room to room and that. Okay. So she, she could still patrol though. And, and Absolutely. if, they don't, if Absolutely. they don't come out for three hours, then there's probably, <laughs> then the stream like, is over and we got problems. No. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I hear you. So I, I will do that is uh, when the, the door opens and they start stepping out, I will look to see if it is unobserved. And if we're, if we're mostly unobserved, I will, uh, I'll pop Tempest out and 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 let her do her thing. Okay. Uh, roll me a perception check to see if you are Man. unobserved. Welcome to cold hard perception checks. Yeah. Right. I say. <laughs> uh, that's only a twelve. That's only a twelve. Okay. To that, you uh, you you believe you can send her straight out and like no one's gonna actually clock it. Her coming out of the door. Okay. 
And I'll, I'll appraise them that I'm the, the three of them that I'm letting her kind of wide circle a little bit. And if they get into any any craziness, I'll try to have Tempest let me know. Flynn, Fariel, and uh, Professor also make me a perception check. Good lord. Y'all. <laughs> Three. Three? Yep. I haven't rolled anything higher than a five tonight yet. Flynn, is that a Flynn. 20? Is that a 20? My man. Friggin' brilliant. Uh, so Flynn, as the door opens and you all sort of step out into the night air, uh, Tempest flutters off into the, uh, into the night sky. You hear a sound from right here. And you actually see some someone kind of like dart back down and like duck from what you guess was like a, a, the window or you see movement from inside that little hut. They hear a duck? <laughs> yes. yes. You hear movement from inside a little duck. <laughs> quack, quack, quack. Well, that's, <laughs> that's the duck just... stables. <laughs> He's quackers. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm imagining these giant mutant ducks that pull the uh, the sleds around. <laughs> they they asked they did a weird oh, cross. Junior? Thing with is that you? That's that. That's what they do. All right, dig it. So there we go. All right, all right. Oh, oh, venturing party members of mine, venture forth. Um, all right. Flynn, did Meanwhile, you the rest you of you are looking to uh, sleepy time, night night. Sleepy time, sleepy time, night night. <laughs> Drinking um, your sleepy time tea. So there are there are three of you, but I believe Xander said that he would go ahead and take watch. No, Xander is going to get his rest so that when Fariel and the rest of the group come back, he can be on watch Dig while it. they rest. So then, uh, Zalvana, Delfina, are both of you? So are both of you taking sleepy time, night night, or is, so is no one watching? Um, all right, so I need Wait. the six hours, you so that means we I can stay safe. up. What's that? You said we were safe here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look, I'm just asking questions. You're inferring some <laughs> insinuous things. I'm just saying. All right. Maybe you should have just posted Tempest at the door. <laughs> <laughs> right? I mean, to be fair, you did tell you, you did tell Tempest to keep an eye on it. If anyone walks in the only door that you know of uh, that leads to your room, then... She definitely sound off, but I mean, yeah. go ahead. Let somebody come in and murder us, and then I'll have Saturday nights back. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Wow. That is just cold hard undead witch. Oh, cold <laughs> hard Ooh, undead Xander. undead party. <laughs> What's that, Xander? <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's what you. That's what you fail to realize is that the previous party was the White Claw Walker. <laughs> yeah. uh, I want to do. I want to do a zombie campaign now. <laughs> <laughs> zombies eat brains, meaning we're going to starve to death. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, uh. All right, cool. So uh, anyone inside the uh, the tower setting watch? Uh, I will. Because she'll, Delphina would, you know, after she's heartbroken uh, from burial, <laughs> she would, uh, <laughs> she'll, she'll, she'll read her little cleric books and pray and brilliant yeah and okay, then cool. i'll sleep afterwards all right so yeah so you'll get so you'll, you'll be on the first watch and then you'll tap out to let zalvana take the second watch yeah and then Zal and then i'll give xander his four hours so that he can well actually the first watch xander can get his four hours and then he's good to go yeah. but i'll let you decide amongst yourselves so we'll have delphina take the first watch and then xander let, you let, let, let her have two hours and then let have uh zalvana have two hours dig it and then and that'll be your four. That'll be my four. And then they can wake me up and I can watch. And then you're good to they, go. Yeah, while they sleep. Absolutely. Okay, I love that. Okay, now, oh, party members, mine, you venture out. So, uh, where do you do? Oh, where, uh, where do you do? Where do I, you? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to point towards the, the kennel thing and be like, I don't, I don't oh, care wait, about I, that. I don't. Um, oh, yeah, you guys can like. Yeah, I can tell. So, telepathy to the professor. We are being watched. Someone is over there. I'm going to go check it out. That, that's fine. Uh, you yeah. Are <laughs> I want to take a look around and see how many of the... Is this main building... Is that a two-story building? The one that we were in first? So, 
of the buildings around you that you can see have a clear two stories. You have each of the towers is a two yes. story structure, and then the main keep as well is a two story structure. Okay. Uh, you, would, you would have also noticed that in the great great hall there were stairs that went up to uh, on either side and up the main stairwell. So, okay. D DM, do they do do they hear a hype train starting at all? Um, roll do for we? perception. Uh, that's gonna be a crap. <laughs> that's a natural twenty. That's a nat twenty. Hey, yeah. yeah, see that hype train coming? Bow, 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 bow. Bow, 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 bow. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, and now back to the stealthy. <laughs> <laughs> so much stealth, so much wow. <laughs> You're stealthy, like a train. A stealth uh -oh. train. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, you head on over to the building. Do you, like, do you pop your head in the window, Flynn? What are you doing? I mean, I, clearly the professor has a plan for... Yeah, working with the professor is like... I'm, just, I'm, wander, I'm wandering forward, and I, yeah. I turn around. I'm like, I need to get upstairs. upstairs. I didn't see where you went. I didn't see where you went. I didn't see Farrell. Oh, there's a... We're going to check over this kennel real quick. <laughs> it's like someone put a bell on that, man. All right, cool. <laughs> so, Flynn, you walk over to the kennel? Yeah. I'm going right. with... Brilliant. I love that. All right. Um, so the, uh, the, do you check the doors? Um, I, I'm more want to be like, look, if you're going to sneak up on somebody, you know, you might want to do, do something a little different. You know, there are stair, there's a stairwell over that you could have ran up and, you know, gotten away from somebody or the barrels on the other side of the corner here, but you went and chose the, the kennel. And the problem with that is you got to open the door and slide through all that. So if you want to come out and talk to us, now is going to be a pretty good time to do that. So as soon as you get within like 10 feet of the kennel, uh, you hear like the dogs just start. And then one of them starts howling and they all start howling. It's like, hoo, hoo. it's like my house at eight o'clock at night. It's great. Um, so I have a couple of huskies at home. Life They're with huskies. Life yeah. with huskies. <laughs> we so. are super, super close to hitting level five on this hype train. That's a $50. Whoop, whoop. Store credit. Oh, oh dang! Nuts. Nuts. Get it, y'all. All right. Um, Sorry. Um, <laughs> yay, dog. Um, so, well um, done. Train. So dogs start bark, 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 bark. Do you back up? Do you? Um, I still have my belt, my pouch on me. Uh, okay. uh, rations. I like stick some rations up by the door. But they're sled dogs, right? Not like. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. I'm putting up. I'm putting up rations up by the door. Okay, so and then so do you open the door and then try to slide the rations in, or do you like do you go to the you trying to toss them through the window? To the window. Yeah. <laughs> uh, roll me uh, athletics. Oh, this is probably gonna be bad. <laughs> <laughs> Smacks against the door and slides down. No. All right, what do we got? What do we got what do we That's got? An eight. <laughs> an eight. Okay, it's not great. It's not great. It kind of like hits kind of hits the edge of the window and kind of like rolls in a little bit, and you hear "ow" oh, from inside the. Kind of, uh, <laughs> Come fun. out! I got more. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw another one in there. <laughs> roll, roll another uh, hey, athletics check. Uh, rolling. Oh, natty twenty! Oh man! Oh man! Whoop, whoop. So the first one kind of rolled through and like hit the uh, hit, hit the hit the person in the head, and then the second one sailed through and like like landed almost perfectly in like the dog's mouth. It was just lovely. So like Lance Jinx and like like the concophony of of barking sort of cuts down a little bit, and then sure enough, you see a, a little head kind of pop up. And it's, Ow! That hard tack is hard. Yeah, that's why it's called hard tack. <laughs> We got a quick one here. Uh, <laughs> you see in front of you. Let's see if you can actually. One second. Come on. No way. Oh, bless me. So, uh, small child. Lovely. So, you see. Oh, yeah. Standing in front of you is Alisar Sulmander. He is a. Uh, Kennel boy. Uh, he says, you didn't have to throw anything at me. I just was trying to figure out who was coming out of the I tower. Don't die. Oh, 
I mean, if it's any consolation, I was aiming for the dog mouth, but uh, my aim is pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. My name is uh, Alisar. Don't 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 feed the dogs anymore tonight. They they've already got their rations for the evening. And they can get they, well, they get kind of choosy. Mm, no, I get you. Hi, uh, Flynn. I get my hand out to shake it. Puts his hand out, shakes your hand. So, you're you're not one of the Brotherhood. No, 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 no. What are you doing here? Well, you see, it's a long story involving a couple of jobs gone wrong, uh, some berserkers, and a portal. We're doing research. Oh, oh, oh! Are you why they? Are you why they built the the magic portal in the the northwest tower? Did they build it like an hour ago? Yeah, the uh, well, yeah, I, I, well, it's they've been working on it for a while now. They, they, they did bring us through a portal. Yes, they all that work was just for us. He must be pretty important. I mean, I wouldn't think so. Have you heard them talk about bringing anything else through the portal? No, no, I, I remember them. They're just uh, in a real hurry, especially in the last few weeks, uh, to try to get a hold of a. Uh, Oh, she was a. Uh, I heard the name a couple of times. I'm sure it's not important. Oh, um, professor, professor, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they mentioned a, a, a bard, some sort of author, I think. They were trying to get her uh, here to the keep. That's interesting. That's um, a lot of work. We're not, we're not that useful at all. Who would yeah. go through that much trouble? Just Did they say for an author? Did they say what they were going to do when they get this off there? <laughs> he, he kind of sees your, your blatant attempt at deception. <laughs> I don't know if the professor is trying to be deceptive or not. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Uh, did they say what they're going to do when they when they get this author? Oh, uh, just that she was really important and, and that they, they, they needed to get her here. I, I mean, I just hear things as I'm sort of uh, moving about the castle, so. No, no, I, I bet you're a little, you're a little man. You, you get around the places, you know. Probably you can hear stuff and whatnot. You oh, probably yeah. are very useful. Tell me, uh, <laughs> do you know? Is there an old, old person? Old? Is there an old woman? Do you know an old woman? You're an old woman. Uh, false. <laughs> oh, maybe you're oh. not very perceptive. <laughs> hmm. you're, no, I mean, he, I guess, you're right. You're just that old. I, I'm so sorry. Uh, um, Is there any other old people here? I, I mean, there, there are. I mean, not that I've seen, but I mean, Gosh. everyone's old. Everyone's old to me. What do kids like, man? I, he, he starts pulling out his bag and searching through stuff. Professor, I, professor, I've seen you mutilate a dead body, and that's the creepiest thing you've ever said. He Why like, would you bring that up in front of the children? He's, he's, he like steps away from the professor and kind of steps a little closer to Flynn. Just like kids like of, knives, right? He pulls out a dagger. You want you like knives? He, he immediately is sort of like back up against the wall of the wait, no, and like starting to edge his way around. No, the it's a gift. You can have it. Hold I'll on. take it from the professor and be like. Hey, what's your what's your circumstance here? Why like why why are you running around this keep here? What you what you doing? Oh, I I was just um I was hungry, so I I stowed uh, I, I got into a crate of food, and then they packed it up, and then when they uh, unloaded it here, they were like, "Well, you can work here for us, and just you know stay out of the way, and we'll, they feed me, and they I, and I sleep in the kennel, so it's you know it's it's warm at least. Plus, I like the dogs." Are they are are they are they keeping you here? Like, do you have an option to leave? I mean, where am I going to go? <laughs> it's so awful out there, and at least I've got stone walls around me and food and a place to stay. So, I mean, hey, you're not wrong. That's true. You're um, pretty cute. Just do 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 are me you, a favor. That one. That one's Pasha. Oh, with no, all the names. Uh. Wait, where are we in relation to um, where was the first city we came from? 
or first, Bryn Shander was the Bryn very Shander. very first city. Yeah, the Bryn Shander, the jewel of the north. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we in relation to Bryn Shander? Okay, so in relation to Bryn Shander, you are exactly uh, almost. I would say uh, I'm damn. I'm mathing here for a minute. Uh, you are like uh, east and north of Bryn Shander by going up the east way. Uh, it's going to be about, I think, three, four days taking the east way and then um, up the, yeah, so heading up the east way road to get to from Care Dinaval to Bryn Shander. Okay, because I'm going to tell you where you messed up, Ryan. First of all, you put a child in front of me. Second of all, you made him black. So... <laughs> 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 Did I mess up? <laughs> uh, Flynn's gonna kneel down in front of him and be or, like, "Just." Or do we? Or do we call this the hook? <laughs> oh, this, this is the hook. This is the hook. Um, he'll kneel down in front of him, like with the with the knife, and just be like, "Just hold on to this for me. Oh. It's for my for my edification, right?" Um, the old man's wild and crazy, but he's he's all right. Okay, and then like he he kind of looks at the knife. Looks at the old man, looks back at the knife, looks at you, reaches out, and then slowly takes the knife from you and says, thanks. Yeah. So if, this is a bigger if, because... Because he's taking notes on, like, how to deal with children. <laughs> <laughs> Look up games. <laughs> <laughs> so this, this, is, this is a bigger if, because I'm, I'm thinking stuff might pop off here if things pop off and you need to get out i want you to head to Bryn Chandler. take take the main road stop off as many times as you can you can you're gonna meet meet a shop guard there um i'm gonna give him one of my bracers too so like gar knows like how serious i am about this okay, um, <laughs> okay. oh man i'm not- are you sending another uh, another piece yes. of riffraff to the yes. shopkeeper. Yes, that we- <laughs> yes, yes. Garn is like a oh, man, for wayward gonna... <laughs> soul of Icewind Dale. I mean, he's not. He's a shopkeeper, Nine right? Hells for <laughs> <enough. laughs> I mean, so all right. So if if you'll do if you do that for me, things pop off. You had to bring Chander. All right. Um, and just take that knife and take this bracelet with you. You'll find a guy named Garn. He'll, he'll take care of you from there. Garn, okay. We're, uh, Garn and Bryn Shander. Okay. Now, and you do something for me. Or do I, now, or what can, what can I do for you while we're, while we're in here? Ask him about the lady. What? I do. I ask him, ask him about the old lady. Have... Have 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 they been talking about any about an old lady around here? From any of these, I just told guys? you the only old people I've seen around here are you. Although technically everyone is old. Excuse me. I mean, not you, but you. And she points directly <laughs> at the professor. <laughs> if you were an old lady, where would you be? I don't know. Dead, probably. Why is she <laughs> creepy? <laughs> professor, are you he really lost, he, needing a date that badly? I was told to meet someone. By who? Uh, okay. God. When? I don't know. I, I, you don't okay. know when you were told, or you don't know when you're meeting them? I, both. I just look at Flynn. I looked at like a fairy. I'm like, professor, <laughs> 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 that is crazy shit again. Like it's like the two of you are the parents of the kid who just said something really awful. And <laughs> you don't want to laugh and you're mad, but you're like, <sighs> is it is it is it me or did he make more sense when he was possessed? Honestly, yeah. The, you know the, the cultist craziness. I could understand, but. Why are we just trying to find him a woman? I don't understand. Look, if if you're looking for more people in the keep, a, a lot of the, the the rooms that they use are up on the second level because uh, the kitchen's on the first level. And have the you tried kitchen. the stew? It's really good. Is um, it this this main building over here? Oh, this yeah, one? that's the keep. Yes. Where does um, I thought this whole thing was the keep? Well, like, the whole the thing's there. 
care yeah. and then a keep. Care There's the care keep. keep. Yeah. yeah. I'm okay. I'm too taking notes again. again. Keep care. Where right. does Cadro sleep? Oh, I, I never see him leave the office. Mm. I, I had a suspicion. So he just stays in the office all the time. Well, yes and no. I've never seen him leave the office, but I've seen him other places. But I've never seen him leave the office. Interesting. Now, were you here when when you got here? Was Kadroth already here, or were you here before he took over? Oh yeah. Uh, w- w- when I got here, the, they were already in place. Mm. Okay. Well, um, um, I think we might go check out this kitchen then. Oh yeah, no, no, uh, you definitely should. It's uh, it's pretty great. Um, I would be a little careful uh, around the goats, but other than that, goats. Uh, where are the goats? In the kitchen. Uh, and then uh, just just talk to Karu. She's 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 really good. All right. Uh, thanks. You uh, mean like physical animal animal goats? in the kitchen or like goat isn't just a charming name you call your cooks or something like that why would you call your cook a goat why would you keep a goat in the kitchen where else are you going to cook a goat i mean you cook them in the kitchen but you don't so like all of their little goat friends are just watching you cook okay okay i'm gonna go now Bye. Yeah, that, that's for the best. Okay. <laughs> and, he, he just, and then, like, he, he like, kind of, like, as he, like, like goes back behind the door, kind of, like, pops back out and, like, waves to you, Flynn, and back in. So. Pasha, look at my knife! <laughs> <laughs> it's precious. I hope they don't take it from him. I, I hope I hope not either. Um, as, as we walk by, I'm just going to be, like, just, like, hide it um, as we walk towards the, towards the, uh, the keep. And you hear, I know. <laughs> uh, DM, as as I'm in my resting trance, I start getting the feeling that half my party will not get their long rest. I just want to let you know that that <laughs> having, having a bit of a premonition here. Why? Whatever do you mean? Put a put put a put a big old tempting apple of RP in front of people and be like, "Oh yeah, you don't need sleep, baby. No, no, sleep is for the game." <laughs> All, All right. right. Well, you heard him. Let's go. And Professor starts walking. Right. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to interject again just real quick because we did hit that level five of that home <gasps> train. So oh, we are awesome. going to be giving away a $50 store credit to Crack and Dice at the halfway point. So if you haven't yet, type exclamation point giveaway in the chat for your chance to win. That's right. Y'all can't spell ice without dice or Wait, no, the other way. Anyway, yeah. so <laughs> and if you have one in the past two weeks on any of the other lawful stupid streams, yes. we will redraw the name just to keep it fair for everybody. And thank you so much for all the gifted subs and and all the bits. Yes. It, it, it's it's amazing. It, it, Jade and Erica and uh, Beardwardo, Pingu, Finnish expert, Snake Spinner, uh, Chael. Thank you so much to everybody. It's it is you guys are just the greatest, the greatest of people. So. Yeah, no, we love our community. You guys are fantastic. Uh, that being said... Back to you, Professor. Oh, he's gone. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that being said, Secret Secrets, Zolvana. Okay. I'm watching, I'm watching all the party members like, uh, uh, uh. all right. So as you, uh, as you drift off to sleep, you find yourself being pulled from where you're at currently. Um, if you've never done any sort of like plane walking or uh, a dream walking that's very similar to this. You feel like your connection to your body is a tether. And mm. as you float away from it, you are pulled up what feels like a vast amount of distance. And you find yourself in just a very cold room. And standing before you 
is a gentleman. He is of a pale complexion, with a black goatee and beard, and dark eyes. On his hip is a radiant, shimmering rapier. On his other hip is a dagger. He's very much kitted out, similar to you. He turns, sees you, and says, Ah, excellent. He is dripping wet. Zovana Orun, I do believe. Y yes. Um, have we met? No, but I have worked very hard to meet you. I don't know if that is a good thing or a bad thing at this point. Well, it is entirely up to you how fruitful this endeavor pulls to be. Which endeavor do you speak of? <laughs> ah, yes. Right to the point. That's what I liked about your writings. When Cadroth informed me that you were in the area, I must, must have an audience with you. So, I am seeking new leadership for my knights. And you seem to have all the right qualifications. A certain charismatic charm, uh, the ability to lead, not to mention, as he looks down and, and you see on your hip, your, your very own sword as well, your rapier, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A similar armament to myself. You're, you're asking me to lead the, the brotherhood, like the, in the Brotherhood of the Black Sword? The Knights of the Black Sword. The Knights of the Black Sword. Does um, that not interest you? I mean, imagine you... all the things you could accomplish with a, an entire group behind your back. I mean, you've had just five people following you around, and look how far you've come. Well, they haven't been following me. We've been together. Of course. But um, aren't you um, a devil worshiper? <laughs> me a devil worshiper oh no no that is not accurate hmm but i thought that uh i thought that this uh the knights of the black sword had the the arch or the the fifth devil thing. I don't know. You're talking about the Lord of the Fifth, the yeah. rogue arch devil. Yes. Levistus. Levistus, yes. At your service. Your Levistus? In the flesh, as it would appear. Ha. Huh. Wow, I didn't realize I was so famous to have caught the eye of such a, <laughs> uh, you know, person such as yourself. But, oh, uh... don't be so modest. <laughs> An Asimar Bard such as yourself, plus, let's be honest, in Icewind Dale, you take what you can get in terms of the people around, and you are an exceptional find, a diamond in the rough, as it were. Mm. Okay. Well, this is um, this is very unexpected. Um, I understand. I understand. I wish mm -hmm. to offer you a chance. Okay. To gain great power, and to actually affect something in this realm. The world of Icewind Dale is in terrible danger, and I need someone with a little more backbone to help you and your harbingers are that backbone that I seek. Kadroff has not been serving me well. <laughs> he has done simply vile things in my name. And I wish to correct the situation. 
And I believe you and your compatriots could help me do that. Okay. But I will need you to be that answer. Will you help me? Will you help save Icewind Dale from the doom that is coming down upon it? I want to say yes, but I just, there's too much that I don't know. Mm. Am I allowed to think about it a little bit longer? Mm. Don't wait too long. We will so, speak again. And then you are then immediately like, it's like the tether that was holding you is snapped back to your body and you, you wake up. <sighs> For those in the room with Zilvana, she sits bolt upright and catches her breath. And if you're watching, even though the room has been warmed by the brazier, as she exhales, it is as if she is outside in the tundra. Her breath is cold and just an airy steam cloud. Just <gasps> and she, her teeth are chattering and that's it. All right, party members, let's go ahead back outside to the professor. Uh, the professor, am I muted? Nope, I'm good. So the professor, Flynn, and Fariel have headed indoors. They are now inside, I believe, the Great Hall. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Just uh, walk right in. Okay. Like we own the place. <laughs> <laughs> like you know, We're doing that like Aragorn, like push the double doors open. like Yeah. Except I'm here. real weak and like maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so the professor tries. Like the professor's and like then push it on one. And 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 we're like, I walk like... up and try to push it and they walk up behind me and they pull them. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> that's, it, that's if I remember, I that's a it. replay of Thube last week. Who, yeah. Uh, <laughs> tried God. that and failed. I love it. I love it so damn much. All right. Uh, and then uh, as you walk in, uh, back in the corner, uh, you see Mare, who is just sort of like sitting on one of the benches. And she's like, "You, what are you doing in here? Kitchen's that way, right? Yeah. Uh, point opposite directions. <laughs> <laughs> that way. Uh, these two, I believe, wanted a snack. And I was looking for a... A, a woman is there an an, an older an older the minute you woman? say like i'm looking for a woman she <laughs> recoils a little bit no 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 um i'm looking for I, a woman not, i heard you had you're some not goats. mistake me yeah. <laughs> <laughs> looking for a woman Pref preferably old <laughs> uh, don't you yuck my yums <laughs> all right so uh mayor points to this room here, she's like, well, uh, Carew's through there if you're looking for the kitchen, but I, I, I can bring you something if you want. You don't need to go traipsing through the keep. Oh, we, we're, 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 you know, common folk. We're, we're used to doing the work ourselves. Yeah. Nice to stretch our legs. All right, cool. Uh, well, of course, of course. Well, uh, is there anything else I can help you with? Uh, is there anyone, is there anyone upstairs at the moment? Uh, it, in the keep? Yes, upstairs from, from from where we are right now. Well, I mean, there's Touche. Who's that? That's the best name ever. Yeah, I, I'm <laughs> sorry. I love that. <laughs> that's, that's, um, that's Cadroth's cat. Cadroth's cat. <laughs> Please don't be like scribbling these notes down. <laughs> no, now probably, that you said it's a cat, I am. Probably not who I'm looking for. Might be who I'm looking for, though. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, is there anyone else? Animals. I mean, anyone else? Tempest, we're like this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Upstairs. Uh, oh. I think you might be talking about uh, Hethel. And who would that be? Whose pet is that? She's, she's not. She's nobody's pet. She's ornery as a bear with a thorn in her. That's um, probably who I'm looking for. That sounds promising. Uh, she's, <laughs> uh, she's an old dwarven woman, but she's. Ooh, sounds right up your alley, Professor. That is perfect. But she's blind and quite mad. 
Oh my Imagine God. Like like this like aligned? Up next that on is... Ice Wind Dating Game. <laughs> <laughs> Say no more. You have been a great help. Uh, do you, I don't know the proper, uh, is, is tipping appropriate? I don't, I don't know. How much, how much do they typically give you? Uh, and I'll just start pulling through my coin purse. I'm like, do you, do you prefer, do you prefer coppers, silver? She's I've got, a, I've got a few gold in here. She goes, oh no no gold? Uh yeah no a gold would be. I mean that's. that's ah fair. yeah yeah that's what, yeah have a gold. Thank you very much. You oh, are was, quite lovely and helpful. Thank you, thank you. She, um, like, I, I re restate my question though. When you said she's mad, is she angry or is she crazy or is she both? Yes. Okay. That sounds about right. See, told you, old woman. Secret Everything's secrets. Fine. You, you, yep. Secret <laughs> secrets. Flynn and Professor. Damn it. Oh. Get out, have <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure she didn't have some like residual psychic powers left over from being in my head? <laughs> hey, unless you wanna unless you wanna like real quick be like, oh, because we're all walking together, I definitely gave the psychic link. Like the Wi-Fi <laughs> password is yeah. Um Oh no. So uh both Flynn and Professor as like <laughs> the name Hethel gets uh, echoed out through the chamber and is like, is she quite mad? Oh yes, you then hear you two jackasses don't quit dicking around and get yourselves up here. I don't have all night. God keep an old woman waiting. <sighs> can can you hear me? Can you can I looks listen, I've been trying for a while here, but I'm working with amateurs. Hi, uh uh Flynn, first time listener, first time caller. Um what the <laughs> hell? <laughs> I have things of grave import to tell you, and I don't have time to be dawdling around with amateurs. So, move your asses. And yeah, then she get, breaks. Get, get, get. Connection. And that is where we'll go ahead and take our five-minute break. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> shall we? Shall we get back to this mayhem? Let's indeed. Absolutely. All right. So our, our our party has split themselves asunder. Gasp! Uh, three of them are maintaining the secure location of the tower, wherein they have been allowed to stay at the keep of Care Dinaval under the. Hospitality, hostile fatality of hospitality, hostility of, of, of Cadroth and the Knights of the Black Sword, a group that has apparently moved in, and the manner of which in which they did that has yet to be totally decided. However, Fariel, the Professor, and Flynn have been on the search through the castle grounds to get some answers. Well, Flynn and the uh, Flynn and Fariel have been getting some answers. The Professor has been looking for a woman, an old woman, that has been talking in his mind and just recently discussed something with Flynn. Meanwhile, She's the woman of my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is that is a phrase that is not inaccurate mm -hmm. to your Professor. Mm -hmm. He's got a line, mm -hmm. but he's right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then meanwhile in the tower, Zolvana has come awake. <laughs> I'm I, I am saying. so concerned. Uh, Zolvana has come awake from what appears to be a rather terrifying ordeal from her sleep, while Delphina and Xander, currently uh, Xander holding watch over the group. Let's go ahead and go to the group in the tower. Have we this... have we passed the four hour mark? No. Oh, that's right. Xander's not keeping watch. Delphina. Yeah. Thank you, Xander. All right. So uh, Delphina. Uh, as you are currently keeping watch, you see Zalvana sit bolt straight up in her uh, uh, cot, and as she exhales, her breath comes out in just a frosty cloud, and her teeth are chattering. She seems frigidly cold. Um, I didn't know she could do that, and I would get up and go over to her, and I'll get into the bed with her and try to keep her warm. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. I don't, are you supposed to wake him up? It's, it's, it's okay. Thank you, Delphi. <laughs> are you okay? Uh, when did you learn how to do that? I was, um, my spirit was teleported somewhere. Um, it, it, it's a lot. I'm still processing it, but I'm freezing. <laughs> Delphi's wings will 
come out and she'll have the huge, I mean, just basically Sailor Moon style <laughs> wings that are huge, white, fluffy yeah. feathers, and she'll wrap them around Silvana. Mm. Is that better? Uh, it's like a down cloak. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So as 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 Delphi wraps her her wings around you, uh, you just feel radiant warmth of both kindness and friendship returning to you. Um, it reminds you of home. <sighs> Thank right. you so much, Delphi. Of course, that's what friends are for. That's what friends are for. Um, as you, that's as they, a bit of copyright free music provided by Zalvana. Yeah, yeah, right. As, a, uh, <laughs> as, as they serenade into the night, a friendly duet, uh, we jump back to the Great Hall, wherein the professor and Flynn just had a mindful. Uh, yeah, I'll turn to Flynn. Are you point upstairs? Are you, uh, you coming with? I'm pretty sure I have to. <laughs> what, what are you talking about? Fair real. Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't think you'd be un, unwelcome. You, you unwelcome free to, free to join us. There's an old woman that's in my head. Let's see. You old too? woman. It's the, it's the, with the, with this now, with this thing going on. I guess I'll go with you. Someone sane needs to keep an eye on you. Hey, uh, Mayor, if anyone's asking, we didn't, you didn't, we didn't, and you didn't see us. <laughs> Uh, of course. Do you not need anything from the kitchen then? We do, and we came to the kitchen and we got it, and then we left. Let's go. Got right? it. Right? Of course. <laughs> you went to the kitchen, and then I saw you return to your tower. You're the best, Mayor. Mm hmm. Like a, like a gold coin, because you got to put a seal on that. <laughs> seal like, it with a gold coin. Like that is exactly what I saw. <laughs> Pockets that gold coin. <laughs> Starts going back to just cleaning tables. The professor's half, halfway up the steps. And like, are you, are you coming? Because <laughs> that's about as fast as he can go. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Can yes, I just you. um briefly make an insight check on my friends to see if they seem okay? Absolutely, you can. Go ahead and make an insight check. Uh, so, uh, you or could... oh, a something check. Yeah, well, no, no. So make an insight check, but you'll have to declare uh, which. So you, you can roll twice. I already think the professor's crazy. I'm <laughs> I mean, more worried about Flynn. Okay, okay. So <laughs> let's say let's say this first one is on Flynn. Yeah. All right. Oh, terrible. He's he's fine. I can't roll tonight. Oh no! Cracking dice letting me down. <laughs> um, that's a nine. Okay, so with a nine, uh, yeah, Flynn seems his normal Flynn self. Nothing seems okay. out of the normal or, or out yeah. of the ordinary. All right. Guess we'll go find this old lady. Yeah, so let's go find this old lady. All right, so uh, as the three of you head up the main stairwell. Yes. Yeah. Right. Excellent. So uh, go ahead and jump yourselves over to the level two map. Oh, goodness. Uh, goodness. Zoom out. While uh, while they're out. jumping over to the level two map, I just want to say thank you to Opera Sun for five right. gifted subs. Thank you so much. Woo! Okay, it is help. Uh, okay. There we go. I say I realize it's probably helpful if I show you where the level two map is. No, it's okay. It's straight east of where we were. Yar. Come on, Fario. I see. I have a much greater respect for uh, for Jade, who used to do it for this and who does it on all the other streams of keeping up with the battle the map. Maps. And the the, the map and where everyone is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and, and yeah, yeah. trying to not swing it around and make everyone sick while they're watching it. Uh, Just do that like GoldenEye thing where like you start staring at the floor and you spin it a little bit. That's good. Absolutely. Respect, Jade. <laughs> respect. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. A, a deep cut for <laughs> any of y'all paying attention. All right. All right, so uh, as you come up the stairs, you notice that the uh, so the stone stairwell comes up and then goes around to both sides. So you have a path to your left and to your right. Um, which path? Which path do you choose? Let's do. Do we? Do, I'm. I'm good. Ah, blah blah. I'll just like think out which door. <laughs> uh, I he 
Professor's gonna flip a coin and catch it and then head left. Flip your crack in D2. Uh, that's exactly what I did. Oh, nice! So I'm gonna uh, head to this door. Excellent. So as you head to that, do you do you open the door? I do. You didn't check for traps or anything? It explodes. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. The door opens, revealing a hallway. Uh, I mean, as we go, I'm going to be like, man, how I'm trying to think out loud. And like, like <laughs> same, same. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Well, Good God. I love you all so is much. Is anyone uh, out there? I think we call that talking. Yeah, but no, no but yeah. No, it's the nope. monster. All right, so you get down the hallway. There's <laughs> just, uh, just thinking out loud. Uh, go to the, a door to the north and a door to the south. Uh, well, he flips his coin again, and we'll go to the door in the north. Just open that one. Excellent. So as you open the door to the north, sitting in the room is a shield dwarf that is in a rocking chair. A Nailed chili. it. Did you just flip <laughs> coins to the exact location? <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> did. <laughs> Got it one. Oh, man, that's beauty. That's beauty. So a chilly draft wafts through this bedroom despite the, the roaring fire that is currently situated in the hearth, bundled under a thick, like, fur blanket and sitting in a rather squat rocking chair is a... A dwarven woman with a wooden leg where her right foot should be. Uh, next to her is a plate of what appears to be like some salmon uh, cutlets that she has, that's been just sort of sitting there for a while. And as you walk in, she just says, I have been dreading this moment. Not the first time I've heard that. Um, excuse me. May we, may we come in? You may. Sorry. Uh, well, it is, uh, might, I don't know. I don't know if we've actually formally been introduced. Uh, my name is Professor Reginald Wellington Smythe. Uh, this is my compatriots, Flynn, and uh, behind him is Fariel here. Good God, you're old. Uh, well. And that means something coming from me. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes uh, I don't know how much use you're going to be to me well, your friends seem to be of a sturdier stock but the fifth lord has his ways and I was told to give the information I must to you yes uh, so um, Come closer. For, Come forgive, closer. Yes, yes. Forgive me for being rude, and I will step forward. But, uh, uh, but, uh, but what is the meaning Son, of this? The one thing I've understood is that there's no time for manners, so rudeness is just fine. As long as you get to a point. I like this woman. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I do. Right, so why are we here? Out it's, it's Herrick from an alternate timeline. <laughs> <laughs> The world of the north of Icewind Dale and very ten towns is in danger. Zadarak Sunblight, a Durgar warlord, <laughs> will conquer Icewind Dale unless you stop him. Cool. Do you have like his address or something? Mm. Like he has a fortress. It is hidden in the spine of the world. It contains, among other things, a forge that has the still beating heart of a red dragon. That's how I found it. You've been there. No. Do you think I could get around so easily? She taps her wooden leg. I don't know. It might be how you lost that thing. I like you. Got some bite to you. That's true. <laughs> uh, you must find this fortress. 
Otherwise, Ten Towns is doomed. However, if you seek out this foe too soon, you will certainly be dead. You said his name was Zadrok, correct? Zadrok. Uh, and what is he... What manner of creature is he? He's a Durgar warlord. We've encountered some. Weren't you listening Brody. before? You've, you've. No, no, no. So he, had, he had another. He had another in, he had voice in the head. He had to go take care of that real quick. Are you not the group that came from East Haven, who already struck down Sunblight's son? Yes, we did. That was his son. Excellent. Yes, Professor. You were a little out of sorts at the time, so maybe you didn't pick up on all that. No, I am glad for it. Any good Durgar is a dead Durgar. You're not wrong now. Uh, yes. But so you must. You must defeat this foe. Or all of Ten Towns is doomed. But be stronger. Be better. If you hope to survive out there in the tundra, you'll need to get a little more meat on your bones. <laughs> What do you suggest? I suggest you practice. And now... Don't die here. At least wait five minutes for us to leave wait, or something. Yeah. No, we, we might have some questions. Farewell. Damn it. No, all right, okay. <laughs> Did you have a question? Uh yeah, what's the um, what's what's the the devil have to do the, the fifth devil have the to do deal? with this? Yeah, and, and what's the deal with Kadroth? What is the deal with Kadroth? Like, can you, can you? What is the deal with Kadroth? Yeah. yeah, he is a worthy leader for the knights. However, Levistus hates his guts. It is unfortunate to be the leader of a cult wherein the god of the cult hates you, but. That is hilarious. I'm not going to lie. Mm, I, I, he, he despised me for telling him that. And yet, I got no small amount of joy out of it. <laughs> are, you, uh, are, are you a member of the Knights of the Black Sword? I am the oldest member of the Knights of the Black Sword. Can't you tell? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's good. That's good. <laughs> so why does Kadroth lead and not you? Uh, I am not exactly up to the daily running. Age counts for many things, Sonny. <laughs> <laughs> but it helps to have two good legs, especially when running an organization. Ah, huh? uh, no, that's yeah, I got you. You're you're all right. <laughs> running. Mm. <sighs> Anything else I may wish? So this Kadroth seeks to uh, give us employment. Can we trust him? Can we trust you? He is a worthy leader, and I have not told you anything false. They say it. Fair enough. What do what would Kadroth have us do? That is a question for Kadroth. And now... But now, leave me, for I am done. Like living or just taking a nap or? I'm just going to back out slowly. I'm not going to touch anything. I'm just going to back out slowly. As you start to back out of the room, almost immediately, her body is encased in a pillar of ice. It seems to happen almost like a cold snap, like a frost that has decimated the green fields the night before. One second she is there, the next second she is entombed. This is the exact kind of thing I didn't want to be in the room. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're already in here, so let's just take. Can I? Can I? Ar can I Arcana check that? You absolutely out. can Arcana check yeah. it. While he's doing that, can I just poke around the room? Yes, 13. yes. You can poke around the room. Like, um, was this a spell, or did she just actually die? 
Like, did she, did she cast something or did, or did she All right, just, so did, did what did you just roll? happen around her? What I did got you roll? 13. 13. Okay. With a 13, uh, you see that her entire corpse had just become entombed in this ice and it is like frozen solid. Uh, it there is no residual magic coming off of it. it, it like it is ice, like to, for with a thirteen. That, that for all that you can tell, um, there are no like sigils or anything around the room. Nothing on the carpet or around her that would have like clued you in. It's like oh, this happens. It just seemed to be like as she expired, yeah, her body was encased in ice. All right. And then, uh, Fariel, you're taking a look around the room, yeah? Yeah, I'm looking in my, I'm thinking like, I want to see if there's any like paperwork or documents or anything that has any information or, you know, anything like that. Yeah, That's yeah, what so. I was going to do also. I want to look around and see if she has a diary or a journal of any sort. Mm. So, uh, unfortunately, looking around the room, you can go ahead and roll me an in investigation check if you wish. You said, unfortunately, we can roll mm -hmm. you. I feel like mm -hmm. that's like, there's nothing here. That means high DC. <laughs> Holy cow. I rolled another natural one. Oh, good. Well, Investigation, higher than that. you said? Investigation. Um, Better than I've been doing tonight, but not great. 14. 14. Man, the rolls tonight, guys. Oh. Anything? Yeah, I'll get in on this. See what I, what happens. A 16. A 16. Okay. So looking around the room, it is very sparse. Like you, there, there is like the, the, the fur rug that her rocking chair is on, the plate next to her, which has food that appears to not have been touched. The cot um, in the corner doesn't appear to have been slept in. It looks as if she literally just sat in that chair and waited for someone to show up. Is there anything under her chair or under the rug? Can Nothing. I try to move the rug? Yeah, you, you certainly can. Uh, and with those investigation checks, like as you move things around, you you don't, there's nothing that seems to jump out to you. It just seems like a, she literally found this room, set herself up in it and waited. Let's get the hell out of here. I was going to say, yeah, I was going to say that. I was going to say that. Um, it's like, I don't mean to be you know, weird about it at all, but like she did and we in here. And <laughs> <laughs> uh, so too sweet, run it down the stairs or like, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, lead the way. This is disappointing to say the least. This We have a name now and this is disappointing. My date just died. <laughs> <laughs> God, God damn it! This is how all my dates end. In case yeah. of ice. Um, yeah, a, well, 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 imagine like, that I never sleep. I had plans tonight. We need to get into more shenanigans, though. Let's go. Well, I said, rest assured, shenanigans. Careful. About. That being said, we're gonna go ahead and now jump to um back to the room back to the room where it happened um so with delphina zolvana and xander so uh delphina your watch is up and uh as you sort of um so are you looking to pass it off to zolvana zolvana how you doing um yeah i i definitely need to wake up right now anyway to keep thinking about options so uh i will gladly take the second watch <laughs> okay are, are you sure you're gonna be okay i'll be fine i need to think anyway thank you so much though oh, okay get some sleep delphi okay i'll be fine and she just <laughs> <laughs> excellent delphina secret secrets what I have secret secrets <laughs> Oh, wait, I'm really concerned. Why did this happen? <laughs> oh, God. So, as you go ahead and fall into a rather quick slumber, just <sighs> you find yourself getting lifted up out of your body and then pulled a great, vast distance from where you are. And as you find yourself in this cold room, you see a very young child 
with a, a toy uh, like rapier, a little toy wooden toy sword in his hand. And he says, "Hello." Uh, hi. Are it, you okay? I'm. I'm trapped here. How did you get in? I, 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 I don't. I don't know. This is the second time this has happened to me. Last time it was through a portal, and then this time I've. I fell asleep, and I just wound up here. Are you friends with her? Who's who's her? You, your wings. You're just like her. Oh, oh, you, Zalvana. Yes, she's my friend. Oh, oh, good. Are are you going to help me? Um, yeah. What do I do? Oh, I'm very glad. I'm very, very glad. I asked her for assistance, and, and, and she said that she would think about it. And, and I understood that that would, that would be very, very hard. But still, I'm trapped here, and it's so cold. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. Um, I, I can give you a hug to warm you up. Oh, 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 oh thank you. That would be nice. So do you go ahead and, and hug the child? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So as you approach the child, you notice he has dark ebony locks and his face is very very pale and he is just dripping wet it's as if someone just plucked him out of the ocean he just stands there just and as you hug him it's you the the cold that you saw in zilvana that that chill breath that chattering of teeth it seeps into you you feel that sort of coldness and he, he immediately breaks hold he's like oh no, no, it, 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 it's okay. Um, I will touch, I'll take his toy rapier and then cast light on it. <gasps> there. Maybe, maybe that'll help. That's, that's very nice. Thank you. You're, you're, you're welcome. Do you, do you, do you want it a color? I, I can make it any color. <sighs> yes, blue, please. Okay. And she'll make the make it just glow the brightest blue possible. <laughs> How's oh, that? That's beautiful. You're beautiful. Oh, oh I, thank you. I really, I really, really hope your your friend helps. P please, please tell her, tell her that that I'm imprisoned here, and if she doesn't help, then then I won't be able to get out. What 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 is what is your name? Oh, they call me Levi. Levi, that's so cute. I'm Delphina. Pleasure to meet you. And he does he does a little courtly bow. Pleasure to oh. meet you, Delphina. Oh, thank you. You're just adorable. I, I'll try to help you. And, and, then, and, and, and if she can't because she's busy, then I can come back. And then you suddenly hear... As if like... But it echoes all around the chamber. It's like, oh, you have to go now. Oh, um, 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 I'm here, and ow. she pulls oh. a feather out of her wing and hands it to him. You, oh. you can use that to, to, to try to, I don't know, it's something that my mother taught me. I, I don't really know how, but maybe, maybe you can use it to call me again. Oh, thank you, Delphina. I, I will, I will. And try then all of a sudden, more. as he says, I will, I will. You then are then immediately pulled out of the room, and as you're pulled out of the room, you feel yourself in the same speed that you found yourself in it snapped back to your body and you float back into your form in the room and again as as you then come to <laughs> and as uh delphina suddenly sits bolt upright in her bed <gasps> And the cold air just ripples out from her mouth as she then feels and the, the chattering in her own teeth. She's like, and do you say anything, Delphi? Um, can I tell you, light the fire, please? The fire has been going the entire time. Um, can we make another one? Mm. Oh, I'll, uh, I'll give you the same treatment. I'll come over to your bed. Oh, feather and friends. <laughs> feather <laughs> friends. And I haven't popped my wings out this entire game but no I, you haven't I, you haven't I, I will wrap them around you oh, what, <laughs> what do they look like so so with delphi she has those like she has these white wings that sort of come out and they're like very uh, I, I imagine akin to your your um spiritual weapon chael yes all right so then do mine you are, mine are gray silver 
like, and very angular. Like they look, you know, sparkly. Sure. Oh, <laughs> Metal. I love it. I love it. That's Metal. awesome. Um, That's awesome. And they just, you know, wrap you around. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's jump back to our merry trio that is in that is currently leaving the room of the dead old woman. Yes, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Starting to sound like an Agatha Christie, y'all. All right. So, <laughs> um, <Where> it's Clue. <laughs> <laughs> Who's yeah. Agatha Christie? Is she single? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, she's dusty. <laughs> oh goodness. Uh, yeah, so I'm trying to make sure that everything looks the same that it did before, you know, like, as yeah. we're leaving. <laughs> Nobody was here. Nobody saw yeah. nothing. All right. Mm-mm. So nothing. Uh, you get back out into the hallway, close off the door. Uh, yeah. are you- Can I just, like, real quick, just the knob of the door across the hall? Excellent. Yeah. So you, uh, you the knob of the door across the hall, and as, you, sorry, you, I imagine you want to peek in, yeah? Yeah. So as you peek in, you see this gorgeous gilded mirror. And then sure enough, not two sec, not like you crack, you crack that door. And suddenly Touche comes darting out and down the hallway. Oh, fuck. Well, roll the Benny Hill tape. (laughs) (laughs) We're all going to start running. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> bah, 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 bah. All right. So, uh, can I make a dive for the cat? You Would absolutely you can make a dive for the cat. Make a dex. Uh, make me give me an athletics check. You got this. I believe athletics. In you. I'm sorry, a- acrobatics. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I was like, what? Why? No. I was no like, yes. I'm a rogue. Remember? <laughs> okay. Come on, Kraken. Don't fail me now. And that's when Fairy oh. broke its neck. Is that? Mm, did you? Not in that I, one. You're the only one without inspiration. And I didn't right? get inspiration. I'm the only one that didn't get it. So what'd you roll there? Um, it's it's a two for a total of nine. So decent can acrobatics. I, can I <laughs> can What's I just that? tell it can I just tell a kinetic grab this thing? Oh, uh, yeah. No. Well, wait till I fall on my face first. No, we're gonna do yeah, we're gonna do this in order. So now yep. Flynn is going to attempt to grab the cat. Oh, now I feel like this is a bad idea. <laughs> no, no, no. You're built for speed. Remember? I am yeah, built for you're speed. Yeah, you're built. I am built for speed. Mm, oh. Dirty 20. <laughs> so, my at, boy. So, as Fariel goes to grab the cat, she actually winds up kind of like stepping on her own foot a little bit in order not to step <laughs> on the cat. And she kind of flips herself over onto her back. And as she flips herself over onto the back, she looks up and standing over her is Flynn with the cat. And the cat's kind of batting a little bit at his chin. He's just like, oh, you're just a good little touche. <laughs> Repost, touche. <laughs> he's just kind of sitting there like, wow. just playing with this cat, which is currently in his arms. And it's just, let's catch Flynn. No, oh, thank you. I, I I used your tumble to like carry myself over. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I meant I meant for you to do that. <laughs> yeah, teamwork making this blunder happen. All right, so, <laughs> all right, so do, you, do you put the cat back in the room? Yes. Yeah. Man, that that was such a random pull event that I was just like, I wonder if you're gonna do this. And then you, you never you don't disappoint. Oh, party of mine, <laughs> harbingers of lost cats. Put the cat <laughs> in the room with the old lady as though the cat killed her. <laughs> oh no oh can i but before we put touche down um is there anything else in the room oh excellent yes uh say so, so yeah yeah with, with all the excitement um so in the room on the far side is a large gilded mirror which covers most of the wall um the other furnishings there's like a it's a pretty ornate wooden table and chair um the cat is the only thing that's actually in the room, uh, but there is a fire in the fireplace to make sure that she stays warm. And you see that it's actually, it, it's so you get the impression that it's Cad Roth's bedroom, but he really sort of gave it over to the cat in a way that most, and you know, pet owners do. So this room is pretty much Touche's room. Um, is there any bed in this room? No, there is not. Suspicious. Sus indeed. All right. Do you put Touche back in the room? Yeah. All right. 
Duche goes back in the room. You close the door. All right, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> All right, do you make your way back downstairs, back to the uh, back to the, the tower? Or, how- back back downstairs because I want to give uh, Mare a heads up um, that the old lady and I'm I don't yeah just be like hey so um, you're gonna ruin the surprise. <laughs> you know I mean, what you're right though you're absolutely right but we've got one eyewitness <laughs> that we went up the stairs and she will vouch that we were in the kitchen the whole time i hope so okay yep i'm gonna go with the professor on this one and not say anything <laughs> Dig it, dig it. Okay, so then do you make your way back to the tower? Yes. Okay, excellent. Yeah. I'm going uh, straight there. Uh, so as so as, as you make your way back across, uh, you notice um, that everything still seems kind of quiet. Uh, uh, Alisar makes note of you sort of popping your heads out from the, uh, as you walk out from the keep, you notice that he sort of pokes his head up from the kennel, just like gives you a little wave and then kind of, Looks like that at the professor. <laughs> duck back um, Xander uh, Tempest takes note that the party has now come back out of the building and is making their way towards the tower. Uh, they seem to be in the same condition that they were in when they left. So n- no further injuries or anything of the sort. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and so you all make your way back to the tower. As you make your way back in the tower you discover that now delphina having so have have you attempted to go back to bed no she's just sort of sitting there um delphina would have told zelvana everything that happened and what all she had done excellent excellent Um, so you you find both uh zelvana and delphina uh currently in conversation both of them look more than a little rattled uh, by something. Um, and then Xander, I believe this would be close to when you were actually coming out of your trance. This is, this is, this would be the end of four hours. Yeah, I would say so. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, if it's four, if it's the end of the four and I've gotten my rest, then I will, I will detrance and see everyone coming in and pick that message yeah. up from Tempest. And while I was dreaming, did I learn the teleport spell so we can get the fuck out of this place? <laughs> <laughs> you just no. all of a sudden can do fifth level spells. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, that's a uh, no, no. A seventh. No, maybe that is a fifth. Level oh, spell. teleportation circle oh, is fifth oh, level. Hang on, uh, Xander. Secret, yeah. secret. Uh, no. Okay. There it is. <laughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> Man, that was cold even for me. Like a cold hard witch. Right. Tune in next Man. week when the F and DM becomes the trifling DM. Yeah, right. Like, oh, thank you all so much for uh, watching Candlekeep Mysteries. <laughs> Where's Ryan? <What? laughs> all right. So the party, you are now all back together. It has so we been... walk in. Do they look? They look upset. They, yeah, they look upset and in and in uh, 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 conversation. And then, did the Zola. three that come in look guilty at all? I mean, uh, no. To your, I'm not going to have you roll perception. Uh, to your eyes, Flynn uh, has a bunch of like black cat hair on his uh, as a shirt, and uh, the professor looks like the professor. And Fariel is doing her absolute best. Like, don't ask. Don't ask. No. <laughs> I mean, he, Professor definitely looks disappointed and disgruntled. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah the Professor is actually kind of hard. He, yeah, he, 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 had, yeah he, had a, he had a date and didn't go, we, didn't go we, like he wanted. We've, we've been here like 30 minutes and you got a date? No, she's dead now, so. The Professor works in mysterious ways. <laughs> did, 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 did you kill her? No. No. Actually, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I will notice the other two, uh, Zalvana and, and Delfina. You, you guys okay? Did something happen? You, you, no, should, no. Have, you should have woken me. What, nothing happened. Nothing, nothing happened. Right, right, uh, Zalvana? I'm going to go ahead and insight on that. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, yeah, roll on that insight there. Delphi's such a good liar. <laughs> well, I mean, she might be okay because that's only a 12 on my insight. 
I just woke up. Okay. 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 A 12 on the insight. Uh, Delphi, roll me. Deception. Oh, deception. Yeah. Roll me a deception. Ooh, I have a negative one on that. Yeah, well, that's oh, good because you're a cleric. <laughs> oh <laughs> my very god! Good one. So she, when she rolled a four, minus one becomes a three. A three. Ooh. Yes. So even with Xander just waking up, sleepy's in his eyes, like, yeah, that's some bullshit. <laughs> and I'll just, I'll just look at her. Mm, really? I think it's okay. I think we probably should talk to them about this anyway. I'm I'm sorry. Um, I lied. It's, it's, we, if you knew how many lies we, you know, story for another time. What, uh, what, what's, what's going? Are you guys, are you guys okay? What's up? Uh, well, well, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Um, cold, really cold. I'll, I will, I'll reach into my pouch and pull out uh, Herrick's thermal cube, and I will uh, move over toward where they are, and I'll turn the thermal cube on. Oh, thank you, buddy. Uh, I'm so glad for that. Mm. We Thanks. we have we have to save we have to save that little boy. How actively? How 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 actively do you have to save this little boy? Like now? What, li what little boy? Um, D D D Davon, do you do you want to do you want to tell them, or sh or should I? Well, well, I don't know about a little boy, but I give a little boy a knife tonight. So like. Yeah, but she wasn't there. How does she that know about the That was my boy? knife. I gave a little boy the professor's knife tonight. So, like, how does this all connect together? Did, did you give him the toy? I cast light on it so he could see in the dark. You, what? I you made it blue because he, he said he wanted blue and I can make it any color. So, Wait, what did this person look like to you? He, he was this adorable little boy and he had really long, dark black hair and he was really, really pale and he was soaking wet and he was really, really cold. Ah. And then he was asking about you. So if he knows you, he has to be nice. So I gave him a hug because he was cold. And then because I didn't want him to be in the dark, I put a spell on his toy rapier, which I guess is the knife you gave him, Flynn. That's so cool. And nope. then I gave him a feather <laughs> in case he ever needed to find me again. No, nope. surrounded by crazy people. No, nope. I didn't. That was a uh uh. It was a little other, the other boy. He was opposite end of that color spectrum, and I what I gave him was a knife. There's, there's two. Was his name Levi? His what? <laughs> no, Le no, no. All right. Um. Do you know a Levi? Um. We we do, we kind of we kind of know a Levi, Professor. So I mean, we know a Levistus. <sighs> Yeah, um, I think, I think the person that you're talking about, Delphi, is Levistus, and I think he may have come to you in a different form. He came is to me magic? in his. Ooh, I think you got played. Le Levistus, I, I... the leader of the fifth level of hell. Oh, of yeah, hell, that, yes, that, that one. Yeah. Delphi, one did you agree to Kedra. anything? Uh, um, define agree. Um, did, did he you, ask did he for a favor? <laughs> did you make a deal? Well, maybe. Not really. I told him I would save him. And I gave him a feather so that he could find me again if he needed help. You yeah, I'm, I'm going to. Is, is Tempest is still what out. What did he offer you? T Tempest is still out, like, like uh, circling, right? Yes. I'm going well, to, unless yeah, yeah. Unless I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to. Uh, telepathy to her, Tempest. How much weight can you carry? Could you carry me for <laughs> just like three, four hundred yards to get out of this place? I'm just going to wait for her response. But he was no. He can't, he wasn't bad. He was just a little boy, and he was so cold. Well, um, Tempest immediately telepaths back. What? Did you do? <laughs> I haven't done anything, but apparently they're making deals with devils in here while I was asleep. So do you think you could carry me three, four hundred feet and then we can just do we can go somewhere nice? Um, is is promising to help somebody making a deal? Yes. What did yeah. he what did Kinda. he agree? Did you discuss payment? Oh. Did he say he would do anything no. for you? No. Would he do anything for love? But he won't do that. Yes, exactly. 
help. So, so he just asked for help and you just obliged like the wonderful person you are. Yes? Yeah. Okay. Okay. You didn't, you don't know what you don't know, Delphi. It's okay. But if he was bad, I would have known because my mom says I'm a cleric and I would know that kind of s- stuff, right? So he can't be bad. Yeah, but so, it's... moving from that just toxic hell stew that I don't want to think about, Zavana, you seem to know this as well. He came to you in a different form. So he now we have you. two of you hanging out with the devil. Yeah, Levistus also pulled me to where he was. He's uh, very he's pale. A friend. He's a uh, um, friend. He's the devil. <laughs> um... <laughs> He said that he wanted me to run the knights. Yeah, of the black sword. Run them oh, out like of take town? over? Yeah, no, he wants me to run them. And, That's... and um, you know, because Interesting. Um, Cadroth isn't doing a good enough job. Yeah, that's we funny as hell that. because we heard that, that, that uh, he does not like Cadroth. And there's, I think, something coming that is a. Uh, that he needs my help to accomplish. And here's where I'll piggyback off of that. <laughs> <laughs> let, me just, let me just jump right in here. Uh, I'm, I'm going to slow pivot to, to, uh, to Flynn. Xander. <laughs> oh, no, I'm just listening. This, this is just right. better. So the professor came here seeking a woman. Like um, this. Yeah, uh, we've, yep. we, we found her. Went to go talk to her. She's the oldest member of this um, organization. The Knights. And, yeah, the Knights. Or she was. Um, and was? Point is that um, that Le- Levistus is, is, is asking us to... Uh, to uh, you said you didn't kill anyone. I, we didn't kill anybody. Just leave it at that. All right, that um, that Zadrak Sunblight is. Uh, we need to we need to take him out. Not now. We need to get stronger, but we but we need to take him out. We need to get. Oh, okay. Um, that remember, wasn't, remember, wasn't remember, that name written on a map? Sunblight. It, well, it, I remember yes. that. So yeah. remember the remember the Durgar we, we took care of. Yeah. Yeah. His dad. Yep. Yeah. Oh well, yeah, we this remember, this would be the great. Then he, he'll be seeking us out, like forthwith, since that was his son. Yeah. Um. So I told you so, guys all that after I interrogated that Durgar. Yeah. Remember? Yeah, but I remember that. But now it's like devils and making deals with devils and telepathy. Here's, here's the thing, though. In people's if heads. It's, if it's real cold up here, and everybody wants it to warm up, maybe the deal with the devil solves that problem. You know, I'm just trying to decide it's, who it's the hot in hell. who the players are here, because Oriel and her cult, for sure, and there is Levistus and the the knights as well. But are they are they opposing forces? Do they want the same thing? I'm gonna guess that at least collaterally, they probably want us dead. Well, here's the thing. The old lady, the professor's old lady, she told us. <laughs> Y'all come on in. This is my old lady over here. How's it going? I had to. <laughs> she was encouraging us to stop Sunblight. She, she wanted us to save Ten Towns. And she's a member of the Knights. But if we save the Ten Towns from Oriel, does that only doom the Ten Towns to be ruled by the Knights and Levistus? Well, I'm going to give a, a pragmatic answer to that. I don't live here, and I will leave. So, if the Sun Blight is like... What happened to big, your ragtag bunch of orphans that you just keep sending over to Brinshander? I will take them <laughs> with me. I will take them with me. Um, but... Flynn and Azala and... Like- <laughs> Paul the axe beak, and, like across the tundra. <laughs> but I think I will fight you for <laughs> <laughs> But I think sunblight is the thing that nobody likes now. Um, 
the enemy so, of my enemy is my friend sort of situation. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> is it worth teaming up with the knights and accepting whatever well, whatever off the offer Cadrath has? Well, um, he did say that we needed to have more power. I mean, it would give us more power. That is what the woman said as well, yeah. It'd also give us more power if you just took over the knights with Levistus's blessing. That could. That'd be a lot of power. That's yeah. a lot. Yes, but then I would be indebted to a devil. Well, I mean, I could help you and... <laughs> I, oh my I think God. I think unfortunately, and I'm, I'm and I'm gonna look I'm gonna look not in a in a really shitty way, but in a trying to be sympathetic way at Delphina. Unfortunately, we may already be indebted to said devil. Yeah. Don't tell my mom. It, it's fine. We won't. It, okay, it may not be fine, but we won't. For Delphi, she's been here like all of 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Rhyme of the Frost Maiden. <laughs> out of the celestial realm and into hell. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go out in the world and learn stuff. <laughs> oh, I learned too much. <laughs> too much, too much. Well, she's such a baby. Anyway. Uh -oh. mm. So yeah, <laughs> so 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 yeah. All right. So in our goal, Wait, so to... what did you tell him when he asked you to be take over the knights? I told him I would think about it. Okay. Oh, did he give you a deadline? No, he no. he just said soon, and that he would reach out again. <laughs> I know I needed to discuss this with more people. So what? Uh, what, Delphi? What happened? No. So I kind of promised that if you were too busy and you couldn't do it that i would help him that's it okay he's a killer okay hey, Zander, no, you, Zander, you got that whiskey <laughs> uh, fairyel fairyel breathe breathe she's just, been with us 24 hours and she's gotten us breathe, all this trouble she's just, a liability just go carve something <laughs> go carve a bedpost or something just take it out on the bedpost okay just you, leave her out of it you need to trance you, Flynn, need to sleep. You, Professor, need to do whatever it is that you do yeah. in the night. I have night. notes. I have, I have oh. notes to take. There's oh, been a lot previous, today. Yeah, oh, previous party members of mine. Uh, so far, the only person who's been able to take advantage of a long rest has been Xander. Um, uh, and then you two need to sleep as well. Then. So. Yeah, I need to sleep the rest of my four hours. Did I not go back to sleep? No, I'm, when, I'm just gonna go sit in a corner. So when when <laughs> when the party walked in, I asked, "Had you gone back to sleep?" You said, "No, I stayed awake and talked with Zelvana." Mm -hmm. And then the party walked in as you were talking with Zelvana. So mm -hmm. it's like I, we're sleeping I, in tomorrow. You can go back to sleep. It's okay. You okay? <laughs> you like to sleep? <laughs> I, could, I, I could lead an army. Um. Please don't. <laughs> you, I have all the faith in the world that you could lead an army one day. It's too much for you to do that right now. Okay. Yeah, probably. You're well, probably right. I'm, I'm sorry. I hope I didn't make things it's, bad. It's, we'll talk about it in the morning. We'll mm -hmm. talk about it in the morning. I think you should get some rest. <laughs> and if you get pulled anywhere, just be super noncommittal. Okay? Just... Just, I gotta think about it. Um, <laughs> I, How do I do know, that? Just need some. Just, just you say, you know what? I just need some time. Just let what you me... what you do is you look her in the eye. You say, I just need some me time, baby. That's all I need. Yeah, like I just need some me I time. I need some me Sorry, time, baby. Me. I can do that. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> okay. Wow. So I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm just gonna like you know pull the covers up for her and just kind of tuck her in a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, like, just, just go, go to sleep. sleep. Rest your <laughs> eyes. Don't make Shh. deals with. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Just Bye. sleep. Just sleep. <laughs> no. Over the face. Just sleep. <laughs> Only <laughs> dreams now. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> I'm gonna uh, go lay lay down. Um. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I look at uh, Fariel and, and say, what have I gotten myself into? <laughs> I have to leave it with me. Where, where 
We're fucked. <sighs> okay. Okay. Well, well, this. well, look, well, look, 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 it's fine. like Flint is like face down in the cot, but he like sits back up for this. Well, look, leading an army isn't the hardest thing. Do you just like bend up backwards? Because that's yes. Pretty... <laughs> you are like, like, dex build. Build. Hey, that is his dex build. There it is. <laughs> I'm a bender motherfucker. <laughs> look, leading uh, an army is the hardest thing, but it's, it's, it's doable in a pinch. It's, All right, everyone, not, everybody rest. Let's at least get a short because this shit's going to come to a head in the morning and yeah. we may be fighting in Kadroth's office and then down the fucking hall. So, Or in hell. You never know. Just wake True. me up a last. Just wake me up a last. <laughs> Same. Yeah. All right. So does everyone except for Xander go to sleep? Well, the professor doesn't, but once, oh, everyone, oh, yeah, settles, yeah. once everyone settles down, I'm going to think back out to Tempest to be like, okay, check it out. Are you sure? Absolutely. You sure? No, I did the math. I really can't. Like, best best, best I could do was maybe, maybe uh, find a way to get you out of here. But also, like, how am I going to carry the rest of the group? I, I, oh, it's just, no, no, that, that wasn't what I had asked you. That's cold, but they apparently may have made a deal with one of the devils, so... Um, um, how do things look outside generally? Any, any motion or activity or just standard guard stuff? I mean, no motion and pretty cold, but okay. I don't know. It seems like it might be colder in there. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not great. Uh, all right. I'm going to let you take a nap. I'm going to bamf you out. Is that cool? Yes, of course. Okay. And I will, uh, pop her back into her pocket dimension. All right. Excellent. And and I will just sit watch for four hours and uh, relearn my spells and wonder what the hell I've gotten into. I was gonna try to like copy a new spell, but I feel like I'm I'm out of mental acuity for that at the moment. I mean, you've got so like with with the four hours you've gotten, you are of everyone the most rested. So like you you could attempt to go ahead and take a crack at copying a spell. That was gonna be the professor's goal as well as to ask. Xander, plus, if there's any if there's well, any rituals that he could copy for. Plus, looking at the uh, at, at the upcoming events, possibly Xander, you 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 might want to you might want to maybe <laughs> something in the back of your mind <laughs> tells you. Yeah. Um, well, I think the professor has the book, so if True. if he if he wants to to learn from it, then we can't both learn from the, at the same time from it. So if he has the book, then sure we can. That he can. Uh, you can just read over each other's shoulders or like do this. <laughs> no, I'll give you this book and you give me yours. Oh, oh, uh, for rituals. Um, yes. Let me see what I has. Um, detect magic, find familiar, identify. Uh, detect magic, identify, either of those will work. Um, yeah, and then find familiar if you want to get yourself a familiar. Yeah. Uh, and then illusory script was the only one from the book that I had a, a chance of, but I don't, that's not something that's super important right now. Okay. So I will, I will lend him my spell book to copy, uh, to copy down a ritual out of, and I will take the other spell book that we have. And, um, gosh, I really hadn't been thinking about about things but i guess i will try to i can't take fireball yet can i no level five am i level five did i have level five with all this bullshit going on around me no. we have level no. five okay. dreams no no no, no okay. level five dreams all right that, that makes that makes sense um we're not quite there yet so yeah that's a all right talk amongst yourselves uh, i need to there's two different ones i want to look at all right excellent fast. so you go ahead and get into the mechanics and <sighs> zolvana Secret secrets. Oh Lord! <laughs> Yay! I hope it's Levi. <laughs> Girl, go to bed. <laughs> go the fuck to sleep. <laughs> so, once more, you find your body, mm. float it up from the space you are, and then pulled straight like back to that ice-cold room standing before you. The Vistas. We meet again. Interesting little trick you pulled there. I don't know what you mean. In his hand, 
he flips Delphi's feather. This? <sighs> yes, that. I, of course, would never use your friends against you. Mm. I'm waiting for a but. Seems My enemies are your enemies. Clearly, as your, your party has informed you of the danger that your realm is in, I yes. offer you power. I offer you means. And what do you get out of it in the end? Mm, I get a person who can truly guide my group. I get a little more backbone and I get to snuff out the sun blight menace that is looming over all you care about in 10 towns. Hmm. <sighs> it seems I've not been left with much of a choice. So I will accept your offer. Excellent. In order to do this, you must get rid of Kadroth. Get rid as in kill? Well, I doubt very much he will go quietly. And I know he will not just leave. But you are a resourceful individual. You are very clever. I'm sure you can come up with a way, uh, a means of encouraging him to vacate his position. Okay. You can do that. Good. I know you can. And for this, I offer you gifts. A token of my favor. He goes ahead and snaps his fingers. And as he does so, your rapier seems to crackle and split as if it was made of ice and then reform. Seemingly the same blade that it was before. Only this time there's a, a different gleam to it and a chill to the touch of the blade that you don't feel when you grip the handle. Hmm. Thank you. Uh, what will it do differently now? Mm. Rest assured, the chill that you first felt when you entered my realm, you will now be able to deliver you to your foes, to my foes. Ah. Uh, wisely. May I ask you one more thing? Of course. Why did you have Delphi uh, light your dagger? I did not have her do it. She did it willingly. She's a sweet girl. It was lovely to have some light down here. I get so cold. Hmm. Okay. I'll be seeing you, Zulvana Orun. Mm -hmm. All right. Just like that. You then get ripped back through space <laughs> and time and you're back in your bed. Only this time, instead of sitting bolt upright and you're just nestled on your bed and anybody watching you notices that for the briefest of seconds, when you breathe, it comes out misty cold. Okay. 
So I'm assuming, DM, that whatever fresh hell happened, I at least saw something. Yeah? Roll a perception check. Uh, I'm the only body, I'm the only person awake in the room. It's you, you and the professor, and you're both trying to spell book. So okay, that's fair. I actually had forgotten about spellbook. That's all right. That's all right. Like that's that, that's why I'm making you roll. Um, also, a... don't you have like a certain level of um? Do you want me to roll while you're? Well, my perception is a fifteen. Mm-hmm. Should I roll perception as well? Uh, so I, I'm gonna have. I mean, if because Xander is attempting to like. Like he's, I feel like he's more actively looking at the room. Unless Professor, you're telling me you're doing the same thing as well. But to me, no, he's super zoned out. Exactly. Like I love you. To, <laughs> I love you to death, Professor. But you seem to be the guy who's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. People are dying, burning fire. <laughs> well, uh, te- technically, I think he's just like this now. Yeah. With without the. <laughs> no, it floats. It floats. I was trying to make the two halves of. The <laughs> oh. oh man! Let's stab me in the heart. Boy. I'll stab everybody back. <laughs> Fifteen, uh, which uh, unfortunately is not 15. super. Fifteen. Okay, then. I mean, yeah. um, the only yeah. thing you notice with a fifteen is that for the briefest of moments, the room seems to get a little bit colder. I still have a cube on. Would it overcome the cube? Yeah, yeah. Just for a brief, as if like a chill went through the room. Like, but yeah. <laughs> All right, it, 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 I, I'm gonna keep. I'm just gonna keep studying. All right, I love it. Uh, and I think on that note, we're gonna go ahead and uh, end the stream for this evening. Before anyone gonna, else, you're not gonna let us know if we learn our spells or not. Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know what? Let's have you roll for your spells. Okay, I was, trying to, that? I was trying to find what we had talked about that we were gonna try, and I could not find it. In the it, I believe it was uh, discussed. I believe it was uh, depending upon the level of spell, like. Uh, what so I'm just trying to learn a level one spell. Oh, level one spell? Like, then the uh, the DC is really low for that. I think it was a five, and then because the two of you are working on it together, you get advantage on the roll. So. Oh, well. So my DC is five? Yeah, pretty much. Straight roll, or am I adding my arcana? Uh, you can add your arcana, which I think... Is a five. Is five? Yeah. Okay, good. So, so, so. I have learned invisibility. Lovely. Okay, nice. so then you get invisibility. Professor, is there anything you look... You're working I, I'm adding detect magic to my rituals. Okay. Do I need to roll for that one? No, because it's a ritual. You're able okay. to. Yeah. Uh, brilliant. Okay. Oh, really? Great. Oh, that's swanky. Yeah. Well, uh, he, you uh, heard uh, it here, stream. We can just learn rituals now. <laughs> well, because rituals they, order- can also be like straight casts. So they're, I mean, just because you can cast it as a ritual doesn't mean you have to. Oh, oh, for, for me, I have to. Yeah, yeah so I know. Like, that's, that's, that's yeah, that, that, that's the reason why he gets them because he has to cast them as rituals in order to. Uh, so, but but excellent. All right, party members. So uh, everybody la, 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 gets a long rest. So good job, and and then in the morning, we'll see what we'll see. So uh, that is going to be it for this uh, Cold Hard Witch stream. That was insane. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys realize last week we were like, oh yeah, well, you know, we'll take a long rest, maybe do a little shenanigans. This entire session was just that night. It was, yeah. just, it was just shenanigans. Yep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, we, we were helping people. It wasn't just shenanigans. You, you didn't you. help anybody, Delphi. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this we? Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs>